control. I'm gonna go rank three. I'm gonna snipe canopy. Oh wow. Good shit. Oh, Alright guys, welcome to the video today, so this video is discussing the two different weapon setups that you can use for the Trials of Osiris that in my personal opinion are going to be the most effective. So as you're seeing right here, this is a competitive match that I used from last night where we matched up against these people. We basically met them and they said, hey, want to play? So we played them and it ended up being a pretty good game. They have some good snipers, but I just wanted to discuss a couple things that could be useful within the Trials of Osiris as far as weapon setups go. So right now I'm running the Sniper in the Last Word. That's my personal favorite. The Sniper is more medium to long range. You know, the thorn kind of dominates medium range, so you know, if they are medium range, I wouldn't challenge. I'd let them either come close to you where you can hit fire or ADS fire with the last ward, or may, you know, kind of wait for them to go a little bit farther away so that you can snipe them with your sniper rifle. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it. Another thing that I'm using right here, like I mentioned before, is the sticky grenades. Now, if there's another shotgunner on the other team and he's running towards you, you can throw one of them at him. It's kind of like a throwing knife, except for it's a lot easier to hit them with, and on top of that, it will hit them and kill in one hit so it's a little you know kind of a special grenade arc bolts are really really good but against shotgunners when they're rushing at you i found that sticker grenades are actually very very effective as far as tips for sniping goes i know a couple of you requested it so i want to give a quick little you know suggestion guide so what you're going to want to do is you do not need to play on a high sensitivity if you're kind of you know staying a little bit farther away from them they have a shotgun you're probably not going to want to rush in there with last word you're going to stay probably about the maximum of eight feet away or maybe a little bit longer if you can get you know that precision fire with the last word but you know overall <laughs> you're not going to want to go right next to the shotgunners because the fell winters will dominate at that you know five foot maybe eight foot range so you know kind of stay a little bit you know farther away from them than you would normally if they're using like a found verdict but if they have a fell winters you're definitely going to want to back up a little bit you know just based off of the ridiculous range of the fell winters but overall you know the last word is a really good choice for defending against shotgunners if they're rushing you you do not need to stay in the same place and you don't need to rush them take a couple steps back and you know just hit fire with the last word as long as the whole reticle fits on their body pretty well you should be able to you know hit fire pretty effectively and wipe them out with three hits what you're going to want to be running on the last word is aggressive ballistics and perfect balance this will allow you to actually hit fire in three shots a lot of people use smart drift control and other things soft ballistics maybe but personally aggressive is the best choice that you can go with as far as the last word goes as i mentioned earlier a relatively low sensitivity will be necessary for this i have chosen three that's what i'm using in this gameplay it lets you be a little bit more precise with the sniper and keep from flailing back and forth while you're aimed down sight with the last word the last word another really good tip for it is you do not want to hold down when you fire as you can see the fan fire is a perk on the gun but that is very very unnecessary as far as in competitive play you do not want to be holding down you want to tap fire so you know fire your individual shots as if it's like a mita multi-tool or something along those lines this will make it a lot more accurate at medium to long ranges another common mistake is people initially aim at the body because they think oh you know I want to get my first shot off as quick as possible but you're not going to be able to readjust to the head with the violent view kick of the last word you're going to want to make sure you start on the head and then as soon as you can tap two to three shots and you can finish them off with one headshot and two body shots most of the time sometimes they will survive but as far as you know the consistency of it goes tap firing is definitely the way to go before I move on to the next class setup I did want to say you're going to want to play a little bit more passive with this setup as soon as you get that open snipe definitely move on to the last two people because it is elimination they're not gonna be able to get their other teammate back up and most of the time they won't run if they're not you know smart players but if they are you can still do this strategy anyways basically get that opening snipe and then rush in with the rest of your primaries for the next class setup, we have the Thorn in the Fell Winter's Life. For this, I use a 4 sensitivity. That's one notch higher than I use with the Sniper in the last word. Simply because when you're sliding in with the Fell Winter's Life, I know it's a pretty cheap weapon. You know, I'm just suggesting this because Trials of Osiris is all about wins, and that's what we're going for. We don't care if we're being, you know, scumbags or douchebags. This is all about wins. So, you know, as far as the Fell Winter's goes, when you're sliding in, you definitely do not want to be having a 3 sensitivity because you're not going to be able to, you know, readjust fast enough to get that one person that's around the corner. 4 is definitely, you know, 
know the medium spot for me as far as you know sensitivities goes while I'm using the setup. I find that four is you know sufficient enough so that I can you know re aim and readjust with the fell winters and definitely get those quick two taps with the thorn. The thorn is a little bit more medium range. I would not challenge a last word up close with the thorn. Also, do not blatantly slide into last words because like I mentioned, if you have your shotgun out and you slide blatantly, they can back up and then three tap you with hip fire. So that's you know a couple other things to be aware of. You can also pair this with the arc bolts and what the arc bolt does is when you throw it at the ground it can chain off multiple people this will leave them with approximately 70 health on average and when you get one thorn shot and then 35 ticks of burn damage that will finish them off so one arc bolt and a body shot with thorn is definitely sufficient this also goes for melees so maybe someone is right next to you and you you know are within melee range i would go for the quick one tap to the body with thorn and then a melee to finish them off or if you have quick draw on which i recommend you know if you do not have your like knee pads on your fell winters then maybe use the sliding perk but overall quick draw is just the better perk in my opinion it lets you aim it a lot quicker and switch weapons quickly so pull out that thorn get the body shot and then melee also like i said you know the arc bolt and then thorn to the body just a lot of different combos you can do with this setup i find thorn arc bolt and you know fell winters to be the most versatile i don't really agree with the setup because i do agree that it is pretty cheap overall and you know i do not support things like that but you know i did enjoy kind of you know playing this for a little bit in control it's a lot of fun to play with i'd recommend one shotgun thorn on your team and then if you're a little bit more passive and you're better snipers than two last word snipers but that's overall what i think is the best class setups for the trials of Asaris. let me know if you disagree with me because i'm always open to different combos because you know i'm always looking for things that i can try out within the crucible so let me know in the comment section down below drop a like on this video if you did enjoy watching and you find it helpful subscribe if you're new and you do not want to miss a video in the future as far as trials of osiris and destiny pvp is concerned and hopefully i see you in my next video peace